My mind cannot handle so much Battlefront Front 2 information. We've got some information since Monday, and today as I'm filming it is Thursday. Now I do understand that more stuff will probably come out, but again, the actual episode that I will film for Friday will be filmed on Friday. So hopefully nothing else will come out after that. Anyway, hello, welcome to a Battlefront 2 special edition of the Addis Hats Gaming Tangles. Today we have got a lot of stuff to share, and please tell me if I forget anything. First I should let you know that the squad system update with the wolf pack skins for the clone troopers appearances will be all arriving on September 25th. Yay! Um, full article down below including the community community trans mission. So this new um, article got put out on Battlefront 2 on the site it did called Solo Star So it comes home on September 14th. Uh, the closest that the UK gets is September 17th for digital release and physical release the 24th. Now, I will try, as I'm reading the article, I will try my best to put as much as I can on it. Um, so, uh, yeah. Okay, so join us in the celebration of the digital release of Solo A Star Wars Story. Okay, since the Han Solo season content drop in June, Star Wars Battlefront 2 players have fought their way through the infamous, infamous castle mines together with the young Millennium Falcon crew, all inspired by Solo A Star Wars Story and starting September 14th in North America, you can watch Solo and Star Wars Story intensely on on digital in HD and 4K Ultra HD and on movies anywhere. To celebrate the digital release of the movie, Lucasfilm and EA are excited to collaborate with our passionate Battlefront community with a full day of Star Wars, a solo of Star Wars story inspired content in Battlefront 2. So buckle up, go all in and join us for filling, for some fun feeling Star Wars fun on September 14th. See the star, see solo a Star Wars story this story's celebration down below um, and then it's got all of these times here now if you're wondering hey what's all of this well guess what these are the youtubers uh, they are and so we're not done yet <laughs> uh, keep watching this space and EA Star Wars okay so this is all the digital times this is so what can we take away from this? Well, the thing is, is that I'm going to read you this part again. To celebrate the digital release of the movie, Lucasfilms and EA are excited to com to collaborate with our passionate Battlefront community with a full day of solo a Star Wars story inspired content in Battlefront 2. Many people have, including like the Battlefront Bazaar um, and that's the only one I can think of that has said that maybe maybe we could get the mall skin from the film because honestly that would be the best addition but look here is how I think this is gonna go what they're gonna be doing is that these live streams will only be something where they'll be playing Battlefront 2 with the with the solo story content as of the Falcon hero ship including the skins, extraction, anything that has to do with Castle or Jabba's Palace because the solo season uh, was in May and also June so that's my honest opinion about it they don't have any plans to release content until the 25th of September I will be shocked if they did do something like this they said watch this space but again I don't think we're getting anything new all I think it'll be just a live stream like always where they are sponsored by so when they are sponsored by EA and Lucasfilm please do not get your hopes up it will just probably be another live stream and if I'm wrong I'm wrong if I'm right I'm right 
but look, I'm sorry, this is the honest truth. You should already know that DICE doesn't have a big enough team like Battlefield or even when they did the first Battlefront. I'm sorry, it's just it's not realistic. They've said multiple times that they're working on Heroes, the new large scale game mode. That's how it is. And this is, I fucking hate this post because they didn't do this for The Last Jedi. But also, um, a new roadmap will also be coming at the end of the month and we're calling it Roadmap version 3. And then also the season bits on the Battlefront 2 website has now fish been removed. Many people are speculating, hey, this is the end of seasons. Season 3 won't happen. Well, the thing is, is that... Star Wars Episode 9 will be coming out next year and Battlefront 2 will still be supported during that time, including Clone Wars. So, I don't know, maybe they can do a season, maybe they won't do a season, but the thing is, is that, I don't know, I kind of enjoyed the season stuff because, I don't know, I like to, again, many people, many big Battlefront 2 YouTubers actually hated the season model and actually how it works and if you remember there's some cancel heroes that Star Wars HQ said they did play tests of characters such as L3 and also that um, other girl that I can't remember from Solo that was friends of Han Solo so that's that including the officer is going to be getting a nerf I feel like this is a thing where players are having trouble with this person, they're getting annoyed with him because it's about the game and you're not good about it. I do think the officer should stay as it is because again, it's like when you complain about something it has to be a real issue because if you're not just good at the game and that's what it is, then you're the problem with it and you're making this community even worse. Including now finally the Battlefront 2 mod of Commander Cody. Uh, the modder has had some trouble. He's actually been, he's not going to be playing Battlefront 2 anymore as he has said. He has been banned, he has, because he changed the weapon and the cards. Many people don't do this, but um, look, the mod in itself is great anyway, and it's the best I've seen. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. So much goddamn information has actually come out within the last couple of days. <sighs> and we're only getting started. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace, guys. See ya. Can I mention that the only cool thing that was amazing in Solo was more. Bye.